Okay, this video is about the Charge AL and the Charge ALX. I'm going to start with the Charge AL and then show you the differences between the AL and the ALX because they are very similar. Okay, so the Charge AL um, has four blades on the outside that can be accessed without pulling the knife open. Uh, we've got the uh, serrated saw there. On this side we have the uh, file, rough on one side, smooth on the other. Here we have the uh, clip point knife and on the last one we have is the um, saw. Don't forget all these blades lock open and then released with the spring loaded catch. Okay, inside the knife we have the uh, pliers with the wire stripper and cutter in the centre. On this side we have the um, small scissors. Next to the small scissors is the um, jeweler's double ended bit driver there with a tiny flathead and tiny Phillips screwdriver and next to that you have the uh, big flathead screwdriver. On the other side we have the large bit driver complete with one flathead and Phillips bit compatible with the LT27 bit kit and next to the large bit driver is the can and bottle opener. Um, marked on the inside of the knife along the edges here are the graduations for the ruler in inches and centimetres. So that is the Charge AL. Really very similar knife is the Charge ALX. Okay, same size, same colour, just about and most of the same features. Uh, so what's the same is the clip point knife, the saw and the uh, double sided file. The difference is that on this knife the serrated blade knife also has what's known as a skinning hook or a webbing cutter on the uh, end of the knife there. So it's designed that you know for skinning you hook it under the animal's fur and you can pull it back towards yourself and it just cuts very neatly without going into the flesh and um, it's also very good for cutting webbing straps and an emergency cutting tool you know you can actually just put it under a seat belt, pull it towards you and it cuts straight through so that's uh, the primary difference on the outside of the knife on the um, just to remember on the AL it was the um, just a standard lamb's foot saw on the inside of the knife, uh, the side with the can opener and the double-ended bit driver is the same. On the other side of the knife, um, next to the jeweler's tiny double-ended bit screwdriver, you have a second um, double-ended bit driver, large bit driver. So it allows you to have two blades stored in your um, Leatherman. You know, it's compatible with the LT27 bit kit, but you can have up to you can have four bits because they're both double-ended, um, stored permanently in your knife, so you have a greater selection of bits. And just to remind you, on the AL, what you what you've lost are the scissors and the large, sort of fixed, um, flat-bladed screwdriver. Like that's fixed flat screwdriver. So that's been replaced with another bit holder. So. Um, so you can have a flat screwdriver in there or you can have everything else um, and you've lost the scissors okay so that's the difference between the charge AL and the ALX um, both knives get the choice of the standard nylon pouch or the premium nylon and leather pouch standard nylon pouch well both pouches now actually allow the um, knives to be stored in the open position and have a little slot for holding the um, LT27 sleeve of bits. So that's the standard nylon pouch. And then the premium pouch has leather front and back, but nylon body and sides. Okay, that also allows the knife to be stored in the open position. But it's a, just a slightly different design. Okay, so that's the Charge AL and ALX. I mentioned that the uh, Charge AL and Charge ALX had the large bit driver 
um, compatible with the LT27 bit kit, but complete with a charge AL or ALX, you also get um, six double ended bits included with the knife. Um, selection of flat, torx, and hex bits, as well as the one or two that come actually stored in the body of the knife. So you get those as standard. So unless there's something there in particular you want that's not included, you know you don't won't need the LT27 bit kit. And uh, the pouch, both pouches have a little slot in them, which is designed just to hold the sleeve there. So you always have to carry all your bits with you. Another couple of accessories you get with the Charge AL and ALX, you get the um, belt clip which is a removable, so if you're the kind of person who wants to just clip the knife directly onto your belt or onto a webbing strap, that um, basically clips onto the back like that and becomes a belt clip. And the other option you've got is you've got a um, lanyard ring. So if you want to attach your knife to a lanyard, then you attach the uh, lanyard ring there. It allows you to tie a cord onto your knife. So there are a couple of... Uh, accessories that come complete with the Charge AL and ALX.